Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Chang here. Good evening. Um, I was approached by a parent to discuss this question. Um, initially, I was pretty hesitant about it because I find that this question is rather poorly set. Um, I have my reasons and one of them is actually part B. Uh, it's actually a repeated question. So in a sense, uh, part B is redundant. And um, this is such a question, well, it can be set better. And to be honest, when it's set better, the concepts tested may be uh, more applicable in that sense. Uh, one of the, this, this question can be modified in a way to be such as um, tank A and uh, tank B. Um, the uh, water is poured from tank A, or rather tank A is full, tank B is empty. Uh, the water is transferred from tank A over to tank B. Um, at which point in time will the height be the same? Uh, such a question will be more applicable uh, because there will be more of a concept, more testing, more on the concept and the thinking of um, having a combined um, base area. So therefore, finding the height would be a little bit more practical in that sense. However, um, this question has got an inflow here of 1.2 liters per minute into an empty tank and an outflow here of 0.72 liters per minute from a tank that is full. Um, the most logical and easiest to understand way to solve this question is actually by listing, which um, someone has actually posted up the answer, but uh, I, will share, I shall just uh, share the thinking behind it. So since the question is as such, so let's try to solve it. Yeah. So when we look at tank A first, okay, for in tank A, uh, we, we know that it we water is going in, so there's an increase in height. So increase in height per minute is actually uh, 1,200. Uh, you divide it by the base area of 15 times 20, it gives you uh, 300. So actually it takes 4 uh, minutes, uh, sorry, 4 cm per minute. It increases 4 cm per minute. Uh, however, for tank B, there is an outflow of 0.72 liters per minute, so it's actually 720. You divide by the base area of uh, 18 times 20. Again, this 18 sh uh, should have been placed here. I'm just taking it from the question itself. So it should be 360. The answer will be actually 2 cm. So there is a decrease of 2 cm every minute. So we list them out. Um, we have the uh, time, okay, and we have the tank A and tank B. So what we're trying to do here is to find a common time whereby find a time whereby the heights of the water levels would be common. So after one minute, there will be an increase of four cm for A, and a decrease of two cm. So the resultant will be thirteen cm. Um, it's not common, so that's not what we want. Then we look at the second minute. There's an increase of 2 cm and a further decrease of 2 cm here. Uh, sorry, increase of 4 cm and a further decrease of 2 cm, so it's 11 here. We're getting close, um, so now we look at the third minute. Um, the third minute, however, we have 12 cm here and a 9 cm here. Now, uh, here's another reason why I say the question could have been set better because it really requires children here to look at the number patterns. Um, 8 and 12, um, there's a number in between, exactly in between, this, that's 10. Right? 10, 9 and 11, again, in between, it's 10. So, the common height is actually 10. And at which point in time did that happen? Well, somewhere in between here, exactly in between here, be 2.5. So actually, there's really not much of a mathematical concept tested here in terms of uh, what we want to teach, but more of a logical listing. So, and here's the reason why I say part two is uh, redundant. When you get one, you get the other at the same time. So uh, this question, of course, could have been uh, set better. Well, my advice is um, don't fret over this question. There are others out there that are um, more worth of a try, actually. So um, after 2.5 minutes, the height okay, is 10 cm. And that's the common height for both. So there you have it, how to solve this question. 
Um, once again, I would advise uh, parents and students not to get too worried about this question. Um, a better question to solve and practice will be when the volume here, the water inside a tank, is actually being transferred over into the other tank. And at which point in time will they have the same height? Uh, and what is the height? That, that, that would be better. So with that, I shall end tonight's recording. And I shall share more tomorrow about volume and speed because I received another request for that as well. So have a good evening ahead and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.